Hi guys, you get to here. I'm just going to run the Blighted Cemetery tier 15 and just go through the process. How do you craft the map? What ring annoyance do you need, etc.? What towers do you place? Okay, let's go. Let's start crafting the map. Uh, 20 quality. Let's elk it. Uh, what you don't want is cannot be slowed below base movement speed, cannot be stunned, and avoid ailments. Okay, desecrated. Blah blah blah. Yep, this is all fine. So, oil. And we are, in this case, if you feel like, oh, I don't know if I can beat this map, use three embers, or two embers maybe, and like one clear. So you get reduced cost of buildings, and the mobs um, are moving slower. If you feel confident, you can do it. Um, what we can do is, let's use one ember, because why not? Cheaper uh, of those. And then if you want experience, you can do verdant. If you just want to juice the map a bit, I'm just using Azure. Okay. Um, that's that part. Then what you want to do is you want to put in fragments. Make sure you don't have stream of consciousness. No, if you don't have any, you'll find a lot in blighted maps, so don't worry. And yeah, just pick it. So, ring annoyance. Only one is really important, and that's Chilling Towers freeze enemies for 0.2 seconds while they're affected by Chilling Beams. You want to upgrade your Chilling to level 3. And the second, I'm using Meteor Towers, because, yeah, they're strong. And you want a build that is slightly tanky. So, here we have a Fizz, so we cannot really stun him. So we're just doing... Mm, two freeze, I think, and one fire. Okay. Here, we do freeze, we do stun. Here we will operate them, and then we go. All my mobs are alive, my minions, nice. And since the towers aren't too expensive right now. So, for in the next five minutes, you're gonna hear Cassia talk a lot. Place those, good. And then you want to place new towers to stop the new minions. So, cannot be stunned, but there will be more here in the back, or not. I'm just gonna place both. Most important is that you just place towers in the beginning. So... Um, yeah, they are stopped at their spawn. Looking good. Not much going on. Saving a bit of power money. What's this called? I don't even know the resource. Let's upgrade this. Mm, I'm gonna put save. This one here. Fire here. Uh, new roots. Hmm. Going on back here. Okay, this is looking good. Looking good. Here we have a lot of mobs coming through. It's branching exile. All right. Let's place some minion towers. We only have one, two that are immune to the minion towers. So let's place those. Upgrade this boy. If you have a build that does damage, make sure you focus on uh, bosses. Freeze. Let's do a stun. Let's upgrade and a fire. And let's do one shock. Fire. Let's do the empowering. Okay, we have one right here. Let's freeze those guys. Let's finish our empowering tower. Wait, where did I place the fire one? Here. Empowering is done. And yeah, from like one and a half minutes on, you barely can move too far away from the pump anyways, because um, mobs might kill you. Yeah, you need to be careful, unless you have a very tanky build.
We all we don't have any immunities to lightning, so let's spend more money on lightning towers. Something is coming from very far away here. Slow them. The lightning, that's another stun. Looking good. Everything under control. Let's upgrade the middle here. More lightning. Okay, those guys are coming through. Stop it. Yeah, let's upgrade our pump defense. What is going on up here? Finish the lightning one. Yeah, the upgrade cost was definitely a good anoint to get. Back here we have some bosses. I'm playing Popcorn SRS, very strong build, very tanky. And the uh, instant, I'm not sure how much damage my popcorn popcorns are doing, but around 500 to a million per pop. Hard to say. It's hard to calculate. I'm too dumb. It feels good. That's what counts for me. Build feels good. Very tanky. Okay. Yeah. Looks like under control. We can upgrade stun tower. 15 seconds left. And our pump is full life. Nice. Alright. And now people are wondering every time why are the chests opening? I'm using the caster mastery. 25% chance to open nearby chests when you cast a spell. And this is why this is happening right now. Very nice for Blight. Do not let them oh. Reach the oh no. Pump. One mob came through. Let's focus too much on loot. No biggie. Okay, looking good here. Some cheeky mobs here. Hello. No, they're burrowing underground. Let's wait for them to come. It's weird Roa's doing this hiding underground thing. And he did it again. Oh. Are getting too close to my Some rare going through. Yeah, we need to care, take care of that one lane here. Okay. Better. Alright, and if you see the dots being grayed out, there's no more threats coming from that lane. If they're yellow, there's still some mob in that lane. Okay, grayed out. So at the end you can just follow. I'm going to show you the loot at the end, of course. Mobs can be god-touched, so be careful. Our colleague might be dangerous. That should be it. Alright, let's show you the loot. Energy blade, frost bomb, snipe, light area of effect. Get a lot of divination cards too. When I'm ready and not before. Maps. Nice. Five, uh, three awakened sextants. Very nice. Nothing too big here, it seems. No big oils, it seems. Okay. Fossils. And those two, and we're done. Alright, that's the loot, guys. 
you have any questions, write them in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe, please. And see you in the next video.